Unreal 5 vs Unity 2020, Round 1. This will be a two-round fight. Round 1 will be divided into categories, giving points by judging each software fairly by the merits and facts that have been released on the future versions of their respective engines. We also use the current state of the engines as a baseline when it comes to facts that haven't been expressly stated or released to the public. The categories for round one are graphics, physics, programming, features and tools, learning curve and ease of use, and cost and royalties. Graphics. To say Unreal 5's graphic demonstration was beautiful would be an understatement at the very least. In the list of commercial game engines, graphically, Unreal Engine has always ranked among the top. And with the announcement and showcase of Unreal 5, they may very well have achieved their goal of their engine being able to deliver the most visually stunning graphics. So, it should come as no surprise that among many 3D artists in the game development field, Unreal is their preferred engine of choice. Not only that, but games such as Dragon Ball Z Fighters and Guilty Gear XRD have shown us that Unreal can do much more than produce high quality, almost photorealistic graphics. It can easily be used to produce almost any art style you can imagine. Graphics is an area where Unity has always felt well behind Unreal. However, with the visual showcase of Unity 2020, the lines of differentiating the two have definitely started to blur more and more. Even at this point with the release of Unity's HD render pipeline as of 2019, both engines seem to offer the same sort of visual and graphical functionalities and capabilities. With that in mind, to say Unity 2020 will graphically reach the same level as Unreal 5 would be a bit presumptuous in our opinion. Despite Unity's showcase of 2020's visual capabilities, Unity has a history of presenting showcases for their new engine versions with both visual and technical features that don't arrive till much later updates of the current engine's version, or in some cases, in future versions of the engine. That being said, we'd be remiss if we didn't also mention Unreal's and Unity's 2D game capabilities. Despite Unreal's 2D capabilities, as well as other 2D-only commercial game engines, Unity is many 2D game developers and 2D game studios' engine of choice. Among Unity's list of 2D titles are bestsellers such as Cuphead and Hollow Knight, just to name a couple. And throughout the past year, they have continued to expand the 2D tool set found in the engine, such as sprite rigging and animation, 2D lighting, collision, and more. Additionally, in Unity's State of Unity 2020 press release on March 19th, they expressed they would continue to implement and expand their 2D capabilities and toolset. As of this video's release, Epic has yet to unveil their plans for expanding their engine's 2D, or rather 2.5D, engine's capability and tools, so unfortunately, we can only judge them on the merits of the paper 2D tools in Unreal 4. In conclusion, Unreal has always offered high-fidelity visuals straight out of the box, and with Unreal 5, that doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. Unity 2020, on the other hand, while still able to produce high-quality visuals, especially with their HD render pipeline, still looks as though it might take a lot more work to get your assets to look even close to the same level as Unreal's current engine. Despite Unity 2020 having the stronger 2D toolset, the two main additional features for Unreal 5 that have been announced, Nanites and Lumen, have the capability of bringing 3D visuals to levels that haven't been possible in games until this point. So the first point goes to Unreal. Which game engine do you think has the best graphics? Leave your answer in the comments below.